Yo, what's going on, everybody? Happy Saturday night. You know who this is, the real one, always 100, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club, coming to you guys with a huge, whopping two-game NBA slate, guys. Um, another crazy day. Um, another 400-point cash line day. So, um, my members, if you guys uh, follow my cheat sheet, you should have did okay. You should have cashed. And, um, yeah, it should have been a good day for everybody in the DFS Club. Um, I had Trent Jr. in there as my, uh, risky play. I have a risky play section. I have a, um, like a GPP section and then a favorite section on my, uh, cheat sheet. So, um, did very, did very well, guys. What are we going to do? Uh, MMA was crazy. Um, I don't know if you guys have to see that. That was fun. Um, what else did we do today? I got to stop saying freaking um, right? You guys got to remind me. Um, the, uh, yeah, so just NHL all day and we had NBA early slate, totally crushed it. Um, especially on Fandle, I crushed on Fandle and then another NBA slate and then the MMA slate. So great day overall, guys. So if you're new to the video, welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't care if it's a one game slate, two game slate, I will do a video for you guys. Um, Jeez, I need a shot collar or something. Every time I say, um, I need to, like someone to push the button. So I stop doing it. I need to break that damn habit. So before we get into it, guys, I just want to give you a heads up tomorrow, tomorrow, stay tuned. I'll leave in the description below. Once I get to the, once I get the link, uh, I'll be teaming up with Jacob Reb from pick management. And I've been invited to be a special guest on the NFL conference championship in-game broadcast guys so we'll be doing in-game betting and um in-game dfs lineups so if you guys are familiar with uh, like like draft kings you know how they have in-game showdowns and that kind of stuff so we'll be doing it in live time during the game um uh, play by play just it should be fun i don't think it's ever been done and it's sponsored by pick city top notch odds and woos media shout out to them for sponsoring the the um podcast so make sure you guys tune in for that it should be a lot of fun should be a lot of fun i don't think it's been done before but you know what jacob is all about seeing things that have never been done before like a dfs club so he was kind enough to invite me on the show and we will have a very very special guest so make sure you tune in for the podcast again once i get the link i will uh, attach it to the uh video in the description below and you guys can come check us out all right come listen to us live time we'd love to have you guys and it costs you nothing okay it's free 100 percent free so with that said let's get into the slate shall we yes we shall so draft dashboard guys you know about that god this nfl slate is juicy um one dollar for 30 days click on the link in the description below and you yourself can have draft dashboard you get access to all my save lineups for every sport, all my watch players, which is all my player pools. And you get the NBA cheat sheet because if you can't win, cheat. You got the best locks, best stub, best mid tier, best value, guys. This is draft dashboard. Four quarters, 10 dimes. How many nickels? How many pennies? Right? Um, get it, get it, get it, guys. So injuries, first and foremost. Um, it's only two game slate, so this video shouldn't take too long but we're still going to go in depth like we always do we're not going to rush through it we're going to make sense out of it and we're going to find that edge that nobody else is going to find all right so we can do it together um thank you again for your comments below for all your feedback you guys are amazing i love you guys um so gary harris Millsap are both out again uh lamb is questionable dejounte murray is questionable now if he misses that opens up a ton of value um rudy gay is out he's doubtful but i don't think he's gonna play cj mccollum that was it okay so that don't pertain to tomorrow's slate so let's go to the position optimizer let's do it so we got this egghead right here will barton you ever see him play you watch him on tv all you see is his head he's always looking up and it looks like the shape of an egg he's got the like the perfectly like round thing like, i don't know it cracks it cracks me up i think it's kind of funny so our top option is only 7-6, guys. So 53-29-19 is last three games. Not the most consistent player. 7-6, um, I think, is 
too much, right? But they got to price somebody up. So why not be Will Barton? Uh, the minutes, 43, 31, 31 minutes. Usage rate, 23, 18, 17. Uh, pass three against Indy, 42, 20, and 38. It's just the defensive game, guys. It's defense versus defense, basically. So, I don't know. I wish I could fade it and just do a showdown, but, you know, we can't do that, right? We got we got to get some part of this game. Um, hopefully it's close, right? It's just the rotations are just so short on both teams, and then they just spread it around to everybody. So, Will Barton at 7-6, will be Chuck. Um, don't have his ownership yet, but I'm sure it'll be up there. So, he's definitely in play. He is projected to get 16.4 fantasy points. Woohoo! 16 fantasy points, Will Barton for 7-6. That's the slate, guys. So, don't, don't yell at me. That's how it is. Next up, we got Malcolm Brogdon. Not too bad. 7-3. I'd rather go here, honestly. Um, he's just more consistent. Consistency is key, right? 35, 37, 46 in his last three games. He has 30 minutes a game. His usage rate is through the roof. 24, 32, 26%. Um, against Denver, ranked 10th in the league against point guards. So you got a better matchup. You got better consistency. And he's $300 cheaper. And what, he's $500 cheaper on FanDuel. Will Barton is $1,000 cheaper on FanDuel. So, both better FanDuel plays. Um, and you guys can see I'm wearing my Shorter's Picks t-shirts. It's got the man right there. And look who just showed up. That's right. Look who it is. It's Schroeder Skywalker, guys. He's here. He will do Schroeder's Picks. He's up and about. He just wanted to say hi. Um, right? You got anything you want to say? All right, see that? He says hi, guys. He loves you, too. So tune in for that. Um, so, yeah, so Brogdon, definitely. Next up, Kendrick Nunn. Um, great position, great spot. He should get the start again. Um, Winslow's not going to play. So let me put it to you this way. San Antonio's ranked 30th in the league against point guards. He's only 5'6", $600 less on FanDuel. 31, 48, 29. So he's just been going off with no Winslow, right? 30, 31, 31 minutes. Um, against San Antonio, last time he played him, he got a 48. So we can even start here, guys. Remember the 30 point club, right? I don't mind stacking these two. I just don't trust Will Barton, guys. It's, it's just a tough matchup. What do I got to say? And look at this. You remember how I always tell you that Schroeder knows that we're always filming, right? Hey, look. This is what he does. See that? That's what he does. So he knows. He's ready. He just sits right off camera, and he waits for his turn. So you guys think I'm tripping, but this is real stuff right here. Right, Schroeder? That's right. All right, so next up, DeJounte Murray. If he plays, definitely in play. He's only 5'4". Uh, $100 more on FanDuel, so same price. Tough matchup against Miami, ranked fourth in the league against point guards. 42 last game with 32 fantasy points. So you give this kid minutes, coach, he'll give you a 40-point game. I don't know what this coach, goddamn pop, you need to retire, bro. You need to retire. You just won't give him the minutes. I don't know why, but I guess he doesn't like winning. But Because this kid is one talented kid right here. You guys already know that, but for some reason, Pop just doesn't give him the minutes. I don't know what the hell. I don't know what to say. But if he's in, guys, get him in there at 5-4. He got 16% usage rate last game, and the price is right. So let's see. Any of these bumps? So if he's out, in the case he's out, Derek White's in play. All right? So just in case, Derek White and Patty Mills. These two right here, Derek White and Patty Mills, let me just put them on here just in case they will eat up his minutes, okay? It's that simple. Um, Malik Beasley, that ain't happening again. I'm telling you right now, that's not going to happen again. So don't point Chase. Don't pay 4-7 for him. He is a 3K player, all right? Don't point Chase with him. 
And same with Morris. Even if he gets a start, he only got 25 minutes last game and only got 19 fantasy points. So there's a reason why these bums are 3K, and they got them priced at 5-2. I just think that's hilarious. Um, let's see. That's going to do it for point guard. Let's go to shooting guard. What's up, Shorty? What's up, man? All right, so DeMar DeRozan, he will probably be uber chalk um, for good reason, right? I'm always on DeMar DeRozan whenever he plays because for a while he was always, what, 7K, 7-1? Always good for 30 fantasy points. Now he just brought it up to a whole new level this year, a whole new level. He's 8-4. He will probably be in the, be in the 9 to 10K range by next week. He's $300 more on FanDuel. And a tough matchup against Miami, but he's he is matchup proof. 52, 50, 44 in his last three games. Plays mid-30 minutes. Usage rate is mid-20s. Last two, look at this history against Miami, guys. 58, 48, 54 in his last three. So DeMar DeRozan is a lock. Lock him in at 8-4. Next up, Jimmy Buckets at 8-2. Now, if you have to choose between one, I don't see why you can't fit both in your lineup. But if you can't, I would take DeRozan. But Jimmy Buckets is in play. If you can play both of them, do it. Do it. Do it. Um, sorry, guys. Star Wars. Bad Star Wars joke. Um, 8-2. $900 more on FanDuel. Going up against San Antonio. Ranked fourth in the league against shooting guards. I didn't know that. 44, 25, 50. So Jimmy Buckets is just all over the place, right? He'll have a 50. He'll have a, then he'll get a 25. And then he'll have a 40. And then he'll probably get another 25. So is he trustworthy? I don't think so. Against San Antonio, not a good history. A 25 and a 15 and a 46. So he is due for that 46 game, right? So he had the 46 game and then he had two bum games. So Jimmy Buckets at 8 2 on a, on a two game slate. Yeah, you got to play him, guys. This is how it is. Let's see. Jeremy Lamb is questionable. 5 1. So we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to take the wait and see approach on him. If he doesn't play, we got to wait and see who's going to take his spot, right? Um, most likely. Ugh, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to say. Because I don't know, and I don't want to be wrong, and then everyone come back. Like, so he said to play this guy. No, I don't want to do that. But if Jeremy Lamb misses, um, pick up whoever's going to replace him, as long as he's not, like, a 3K bum. If it's if it's a holiday, go ahead. Absolutely. But if he plays, he's he's worth a look at 5-1. 33, 22, 13 in his last three. Only because last time he played Denver, he got a 45. So I'll put him in here just in case he plays. Next up, Duncan Robinson's in a good matchup, guys, but he just doesn't fit the quota. He doesn't fit the 30-point club. He will get you low 20 fantasy points. He gets all the minutes, right? He gets almost 40 minutes a game, but for some reason, he can't score. He gets 22, 23, 24 fantasy points. Last time he had San Antonio, he got 22. So I don't see necessary. I will mark him in here, but I don't know. Unless he breaks the slate, which it could happen. Look at this. Look at this. He's already looking. He's already looking. He's already looking at this too. So he's taking his notes for shorter picks. But Duncan Robinson, guys, in all seriousness, he'll get you at 20, low 20. So don't get too excited. Let's see. Derek White. I don't know why he's marked, but no. Let's see. Oh, that's why. Because in case of injury. So let's go to small forward. It's just bad matchups for everybody. What can I say? TJ Warren, uh, 6K. All right. Two game slate. You can't complain. He's $300 cheaper on FanDuel. Tough matchup. Going up against Denver. He got a 34 last game, so that's promising. And he's got a 42 in his last five. Um, I don't like the price, though. He should be about 5K, maybe 5-4. But um, he did get a 42 last game, but he's just so inconsistent this year. I don't know. It's a dart throw. But TJ Warren, if you have the salary, if you got 6K left over, throw him in there. Why, why the hell not? 
Do I have anybody else? Yes, I do. I got Michael Porter Jr., guys. 6'3". His price went way up there. He'll probably be 9K by uh, Monday, right? If he has another good game, DraftKings will price him up to like 10.9 to 10K. That's just what they do. Um, 6'3 is pretty steep. But on a two-game slate, if we know he's going to get at least high 20 minutes, you got to roll him out because he's done it the last two games, 29, 27 minutes, and then 45 and 38 fantasy points. So on a two-game slate, if we get word that he's going to get the minutes, you'd have to be a damn fool not to put him in your lineup. At 6-3, I don't care. If this was a larger slate, I would take a hard pass on that price. But, guys, two-game slates, we got to be beggars, right? So pass up these Bellinelli bums here. Don't even, don't fall for the Lonnie Walker either. Don't do it. Don't do it. Lonnie Walker will go out there. He'll get 16 minutes and 17 fantasy points. So if you want to roll him out just because he's 3-1, by all means, you know that gif where all those guys are shuffling money into the fireplace? Go ahead. All right? Don't do it, guys. Don't fall for it. It's a trap. Same with Tory Craig. Don't do none of that. These bums, forget it. Forget it. Let's go to power forward. All right, so this man burned me the last two times I played him. Last two times I played him, of course, because I played him. It's a bonus. He got me a 20. And I, and I swear to you, the last two times he's got me a 20. Every other time he'll get a 40 or a 50. But on a two-game slate, 7-9-2, he'll probably be 100% ownership. So the, the, the edge to get will be who's going to pick the value that's going to pay off. That's basically what it's going to come down to. So we're going to do it. That's what we're going to do. Because all these studs here, they're all going to be 100% on. They're all priced right. They should have jacked up their price actually a little bit more to make it a little bit harder. But, you know, what it is what it is. That's why we got football too, guys. That's why we're going to tune in for the podcast. 7-9, um, Sabonis. 20 last game. That was beautiful. For fuck's sake. Uh, 58, uh, 36 in his last three against Denver, you know, rank 11th in the league against forward. So they don't absolutely dominate them. 48, 37, 29, 21, too many twenties for my, for my taste against Denver. But on a two game slate, you got to roll some bonus guys. You got to just eat that poop sandwich and, and, and like it. Okay. <laughs> Same with LaMarcus Aldridge. He's 6'9". At least he's under 7K. All right, we can get with that. It's just his history against Miami is awful. Uh, Miami is a tough matchup against Biggs. Thanks, Schroeder. I appreciate that. I love the cat butt in the face. Thank you. Oh, oh. all right. You are forgiven. How can you not forgive this guy? Look at this. Yeah, I know, dude. It's almost time for Schroeder's picks. All right, we're getting there. Relax. So Marcus Aldridge, 6'9", you can probably fade him because he will be highly owned. And you can get some of these other guys, right? The Sabonis, those type of guys. Look at this history against Miami. A 20, a 31, a 30, a 25. He got a 47 five games ago. And he's not having the best year. He's almost 7K. So I think this could be a trap right here. I'm not falling for it. So I'm going to take a hard pass on the Marcus Aldridge. Same with Plumley. I'm not point chasing there. Uh, Derek Jones, he can keep his 20 fantasy points. Um, Trey Lyles, don't fall for this trap either. I don't care if he gets the start because he will get 20, maybe 20 minutes if you're lucky, and maybe 20 fantasy points if you're lucky. I do like Grant, though. I'll put Grant in here because Grant can get you a 30 or more. If, if, he's, if he's shooting the ball, and, and it's, it happened last week. If his shots are dropping, as soon as he goes red hot, he doesn't stop, right? That's what he does. He does have a 44 against Indy two games ago. Check this out. 11 and a 44. So I'll take my chances with some, with some Grant. He's not going to totally break it for you. Like he'll at least get 20 fantasy points, I think. Um, his usage rate 15, 23, 15%. God, it's just an ugly slate, guys. I apologize. You know, I wish I had better picks for you, better things to show you, but no. I can't fake it till I make it with this one. I can't. 
Uh, then in the, again, we just got the bums down here. Uh, wow. All right. Let's go to center. So center looks better. Uh, you got Jokic here at 9-6. We'll be 100% up. Indy's ranked 22nd in the league against centers. They are not good against centers, guys. Jokic, 52, 38, 52. Um, history against Indy, though. Last time, he only got a 30 against them. But before that, he got a 56, 41, and a 58. Um, he gets some, He played 43 minutes last game against the Warriors. I watched it. He was out of breath. God bless him, though. He made it the whole game and overtime. Usage rates through the roof. Uh, must play, guys. Jokic at 9-6. You got Bam out of Bayou, too, at 8-8. Eight, eight. A little bit cheaper. Uh, the upside is not as big as Jokic, but he's just safer, right? Um, so if you can't, for some reason, get up to Jokic, you can sleep safe and sound knowing that you got Bam and Abayu in your lineup because what is he? He's a 30-point club member, right? Um, San Antonio is ranked 14th in the league in centers, so right in the middle of the pack. 39, 46, 28 in his last three games. His minutes, he gets 30-plus minutes. Um, good history against San Antonio, 46 and 35 in his last two. So we'll take that. Projected to get 39 fantasy points. Jokic is projected to get 46. So pretty close. Pretty, pretty close. Bam out of buy is the same on both sites. Jokic is $400 more on Fandle. Fandle loves to jack up the price on centers. That's it. All the other positions are cheaper. Just centers is with the prices. If you're desperate, you can go Miles Turner here on a two-game slate. He's only 5'7", um, and hope to God he gets you a 30. That's just – he has against Denver, but it's it's just he's not having a good year. And part of that, too, is because Sabonis is hogging the ball a little bit. But he's only 5'7". Hear me out here. Projected to get 27 fantasy points. These are the things that are going to help us win, guys. These Miles Turners right here. Um, History against Denver, 31, 41, 30, 19, and 46. So four out of five games, he's gotten 30 or more fantasy points against Denver. I love that. He will be low owned, okay? A lot of people will pass on him. So this is my sneaky play of the slate right here is Miles Turner. So I would throw him in a GPP, guys, and feel very comfortable about it. Let's see. And that's going to do it, guys. Quick and painless, right? So don't forget about Miles Turner. And don't forget about the DFS Club. I keep telling you, www.dfsclub.com. This is where the family is. This is where we're at. We got over 500 members. You got DFS Space. You got myself, Skywalker DFS. You got the DFS Whispers. 500 members that got your back. We cover every single sport. Every sport. NBA, NFL, MLB, PGA, NHL, tennis, NASCAR, soccer, esports, MMA, WNBA, college sports, Euro League, basketball. Well, hopefully there's an MLB season after what the Astros pulled. Uh, guys, I'm scared for baseball again. That's just sad. That's just sad. You know, they have all that talent. They didn't have to cheat, but yet they did it. I know I always say if you can't win, cheat, but they could have won without cheating. They're that talented. But no, they did what they did. So, yeah, baseball's in a lot of trouble, guys. I mean, this is big time. If you haven't heard about it, just look it up on YouTube, search it. They did that. Yeah. Click the join now button. Um, make sure you click on my logo, Skywalker DFS. And here are the packages now. Packages are all access, right? Nobody in the industry comes close to these prices. Get them while they're cheap, guys. Get them while they're cheap. That's why we have 500 members. Um, you get bankroll management. We teach you how to manage your bankrolls in all seriousness because that is the key to winning in fantasy sports. Now, if you're, if you're spending your bankroll like a drunken redneck on payday, that's why you're making deposits every, you know, every other day. You got to have discipline. All right. Because if you lose that slate, you know what? You fight, you live to see another day. That's why it's called Daily Fantasy Sports. Um, we cover everything, every site, DraftKings, FanDuel, you name it, we cover it. 
There's a site out there. I guarantee you Ben Bellows in there, one of our members, and he's an expert at it. I don't care if it's Yahoo, uh, whatever. We got you covered, guys. The cheat sheets, I'm telling you, they are fire. I'm going to start showing them um, just to show you guys um, what my cheat sheets were for the prior day so you can see what kind of fire I'm putting out. I got my crystal ball going, you know. I kind of see the edge. Uh, Miles Turner, don't forget. Uh, Pre-members only podcast. We do members only podcasts. So um, there is that. You get um, 24-7 tips and advice by the DFS club because we are always in there, guys. Um, we help you build the perfect lineups because that's what we do, right? Because we all want to win, especially for the family. So everybody helps each other out. It's a beautiful thing. Everybody's just like, how does this look? How does that look? And you know what? If it looks like trash, we're nice. Everybody's nice to each other. But like, maybe, you know, maybe why don't you throw in Will Barton or Miles Turner instead of, you know, Robinson who's going to get you 20, right? Because everybody's disciplined on this 30-point club system I, I created. So good for you guys. Um, Pre-lock insights. So all the news that comes in, you guys know it's NBA, right? It's going to change from one hour to the next. We're on top of it. And then, of course, the members only Slack chat. So you get all this, guys. Pick your plan. we got three-day passes if you want. www.dfsclub.com. Come join the family. We would love to have you. And draft dashboard, $1 for 30 days, guys. So, yeah, two games late. We'll do Schroeder's picks tomorrow. Let's get a lineup here. Let's see what's going on. So, oh, look at that. See, see, look at this. Draft dashboard and I are like this. Look who they put at center, Miles Turner. I love it. So we're going to get rid of this bum already. I already know it. So I like none there. I like the flying none. But we got to get some DeRozan. All right, so that's a good start. None is probably... Unless one of these guys show up. I mean, Patty Mills is good value at 3-4. Don't get me wrong. Let's do it. All right. Patty Mills. He can still get you 30 fantasy points. This is a GPP line, not a cash line. All right. But it's still good. So Jeremy Lamb, we can definitely take his ass out. And who can we put? Let's see. Our options are. Let's try Michael Porter here. Let's see. Well, Marcus Aldridge. Let's see if we can get really, really like crazy with this. So we're only, we're only three grand over. I'm not worried about it. Let's get rid of Jimmy Butler, right? Let's do it. We can put in, uh, we'll put in Grant. Grant and we're under now. So we got Brongan and TJ Warren down here. Do we have to do TJ Warren? What if we do? Uh, yeah, Will Barton's is too damn expensive, guys. We'll do this for now. Brogdon, yes. Brog, I love, I love that Brogdon play. So you're going to have to get creative, right? So we got Patty Mills, DeMar DeRozan, Michael Porter, Sabonis, Miles Turner. I don't mind you playing them both. All right. I don't mind it at all. They don't cancel each other out. Brogdon, TJ Warren, and Jeremy Grant. This isn't bad. Not bad. It'll be different. And it still has potential. Patty Mills could only get 20 fantasy points. That's fine as long as all these other guys get at least 30 or more. All right. And hopefully it's not a 400 point cash line. So, but that'll do it, guys. That'll do it for the video. And don't forget, let me pull it up. Make sure you guys tune in for the podcast tomorrow. I'm a special guest. I'm honored again. It's going to be fun. Again, I'll leave the description, uh, excuse me, the link in the description below once I know where we're going to post it. And then uh, come join us, right? Come watch the games with us where we'll be doing it in live time. And you get free insight by me, which is normally, you know, for the DFS club, just for this game. 
we got two games. So we'll be doing both games in lifetime. We'll be doing in-game DFS lineups for us DFS players. I'll be handling that part. So it's free, guys. Sponsored by Pick City, Top Notch Odds, and Woos Media. So tune in for that. And again, God bless you guys for tuning in. I know it's a two-game slate, but I couldn't leave you hanging. So it's Saturday night. All seriousness, guys, please do not drink and drive. Please do not text and drive because I want to see you tomorrow. I want to see you on the podcast, and I want to see you on the next video. So let's get this bread, all right? God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your pets. Let's get this bread. Don't take shit from nobody. I live and die by that, guys. Let's do it, and maybe I will learn how to stop saying um, okay? All right, y'all. Take care.